Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm excited to announce an update to our Divi contact form helper. So this plugin has been taking the Divi community by storm, very, very popular, and for good reasons. There are, um, I think it's safe to say, hundreds of settings, and we're just blowing away you know, any competition. Um, there's just nothing out there with any of these features. And in this update, you're gonna see a whole set of new features that people have been asking for that you would only find in premium plugins um, like other contact forms. But now you can do it in the Divi contact form directly. So let's take a look at everything that's new in version 1.3. All right, so we have everything listed here on the blog post. You can check that out. So the first thing we'll mention is rich text HTML formatting in your admin and confirmation email messages. So now you can enable a toggle and you can use the normal editor. Look, it, it, you can see in the screenshot, it looks just like if you were editing, you know, in a, in a Divi text module or something like that. You have all of the settings for the headings and the bold and italics and bullet points and quotes and all of that. And now for the first time ever, the Divi contact form supports HTML and formatting. So you could even use Yes, you could even use an HTML template. So here I am in the admin email. You can see I can turn that setting on and then this takes over and you can text and, or type here with all the settings and it's the same in the confirmation email as well. All right, so if you noticed, if right there's a little dynamic content icon and you may be thinking, what is that? What would that be related to this? Well, I just got done saying that you could use HTML templates. Now, this icon opens up a new feature that we've added, templates. So if you're using a lot of forms on your site and you want to save time, you know, you want to add this form and you want to use a template that you saved. Um, so here when you use that dynamic content item right here, email templates, Divi contact form helper. And then under that, I have this one here. So I can select this and then it adds it as dynamic content. Now let me go in the back end. So here I am, if I go over here under the contact form menu, it says email templates. And then here's here actually is that template that you just saw. And I loaded it into um, the, the module, but I could come in here and you know give it a type and a subject and email, but we're gonna actually, a couple of these options won't be shown, but basically the main part is going to be this here um, in the final version. You'll be able to you know use the merge tags, you know, use the custom merge tags that puts in their name and the referral URL and the page name and the page link and all that stuff that you want in here. Um, you can put it in here and then simply click and add it just like that. All right. So that was email templates right here explained dynamic email addresses. So actually, if you wanted to use a custom field and you had your module, you know, in a theme builder template, you could actually come in here to the email address and now this icon appears. So I could click on there, maybe right here, maybe email address one, like I have a custom field for that. And I could click that um, and then save. And now the, the admin email address will go to that custom field. So that allows you to automatically be sending the form to whatever address you put in that custom field. Oh, and this gets really interesting. This is a big feature request. Conditional admin email routing. That's right. So now you can choose different options in the form. So if I'm filling out the form and I choose, you know, a certain radio button or a certain check box or a certain select option, right? Depending on what I choose, it will send the message to a different email address. You can enable this setting and then you've got to write your own logic. All right. So remember, we're, we're sort of still hacking the Divi module here. So we can't have like an interface for this, but it's pretty easy. And in fact, I give the logic right here. Um, you would put it in right here. You enable this, use conditional email routing. And then right here it says conditional email address routing logic. And that's what you put here. If this is, if the field ID is the, is the radio button field, if the option is this, then this email address. Or if the option is this, then it goes to this email address. So it's not that complicated really. You're just taking the field ID and then the value. And if I click this one, if I click ADF, ADF, 
then it might, then I'll go to email address one, or if I click, um, you know, this one with a two, then it goes to email address two. Pretty cool. All right, and you can actually build that out with more logic. But um, anyway, here's one: all fields merge tag. This is just a, a simple way to display all the fields in the form that the person has filled out, like all the field, any of the fields that are on the form. It's just gonna display them all and it's going to include the label and the value, okay? So it's just a quick way of putting them all in. You know, you could use the actual separate ones. But anyway, hopefully you enjoy that. Here's another one that you have been asking for. A lot of times people want to actually send like a PDF or like, what do you call it? The, you know, the thing that when someone signs up, sends you a message, they get something in return. And why not receive that directly in that very first confirmation email? If you have the confirmation email on, here I set up, it just, you just write attachments and then the attachment ID from the WordPress media library. It's very easy. So if I'm in the, the media library and I click this image, Right up here in the slug, the URL, it says 3254. Well, then I come back here and put 3254. All right, and it's going to attach that image in the confirmation email. They'll get it in their Gmail or Outlook, whatever, just like normal. Um, if, I, if I had this PDF, it, everything gives you that ID up there. It should work for anything that can work in the media library here and has that ID. And you can just separate them by commas and then Put that below your message like you could still have your um, your message in here right your confirmation message here right here's one pably connect we had uh zapier now you have pably also a competitor to zapier so you can use that if you're into that um, sending the form submissions into some automation really powerful okay so here's a smaller feature moving the description above or below so here you can show description right i could write a description um, it would show pointing at my screen, but uh, below like the name. Here I can just choose above or below now. Just a new option. Search field for dropdowns. So if you have a lot of things in your dropdowns, you may want a search bar. So we've added that. All right, so this one is about the date picker. Disable the current date. So there technically wasn't a way to do that very well. Um, we have all the features about disabling relative dates and you know three dates from now or hard dates or in the past and all that stuff but there really wasn't a good way to disable the current date so we've added that as a separate setting um, and then here set input with the current date and time it'll put today's you know current date in the placeholder already so you don't have to actually click because it'll just be today if you don't pick anything else move custom text labels to the theme options and you can see uh, from this screenshot well let me just show you so this is a fourth tab here in the Divi Contact Form Helper theme options. And there you can see all of these things like the upload button text, um, the, the allowed file types text, and how many, you know, you're uploading files, file size warning, like all of these things require text. And so people were asking us about translating this and it's pretty tricky to do. Plus, nothing else in our plugin requires translation, so we decided, hey, we are just going to give you all of these options that you can come in here, and you, you may want to just reword something. Like, maybe I don't want to say choose files on the button. Maybe I want to say, like, select PDF. Like, if in other words, you know, if there's like a specific call to action that you're calling them, you know, upload your ID. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is, you can change that, you know, the max file size. Maybe you want to say maximum instead of max. It's up to you. Maybe you want to just translate it to a whole different language. Here you go. And speaking of the file upload fields, let me show you over here in the design tab, we have added file upload and check it out. Now you can design the file upload field however you want. And here's how it looks. You see, we've already you know upgraded it a, a slight bit by using the Divi buttons. Now everything feels like Divi to begin with. Um, right here's a, that text that I was just talking about, some of this stuff, um, the choose files. But now it's like a Divi button instead of that default browser button. So we actually replaced the browser button with the Divi button, which means now you can customize all of this. We made it the default color and everything. 
but you could come in here like I was showing you. Here's the container. So that's that, if I make that red, that's gonna be um, this, this whole gray area here. Um, you know, the descriptions, you can see accepted file types text. Here's the text collar, file chosen text, all this stuff. And then over here is the upload button. You can choose all the settings for that. All right, so that pretty much covers this update. Um, it's a big update on our end, a lot of technical things. And, and believe me, we have a very long list of things coming too. Um, we are just getting started, um, even though this is our third big update, so um, the fourth major release. It's like releasing it four times. There's just so many features here, and we're continuing to take your requests, and we're excited about that because we're solving these problems and creating solutions, um, and that's what you like. So we're really excited. Um, if you think this update is exciting, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and be sure to share this when people are asking about contact forms in Divi. And hey, we'll see you all in that next update.